Welcome back! Another project I've had for a little while. I was able to pick up a few of these traffic lights. It's probably been a good 10 years ago now. I sold off a couple of them and I've kept a couple of them because I knew at some point in time I was going to make at least one of these things work. And a couple weekends ago I was able to actually pick up these LED lights for relatively cheap, thankfully. So with that being said, I got myself a controller board ordered and I bought myself a cord to plug this thing in once everything's wired. But today I'm going to attempt to clean this thing up, get this controller board mounted in here, and kind of get everything wired together. And I figured I'd show you guys that process. Obviously you can see inside there's old wiring and cables in here, and I think that I'm going to take that stuff out because I don't see a need for it. And once I have those things out, then I'm going to open my controller board here and then get that stuff figured out on how to wire that in and make that work. It looks like it's an easy process. I've watched a few videos on it online. It did come with some handy dandy instructions that someone made a correction on and started writing notes on. So hopefully all will go well. But we're gonna start taking these wires out first and once those things are out of there, then we're going to get this controller board open and kind of map out what direction I'm taking next. With this, I'm just going to remove the wiring from this. I'm going to leave this panel in here for now. I'm not sure if I'll ever need it, but it's installed. And I know if I take it out, I'll put it somewhere and chance losing it. And I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm hanging this inside the shop or outside the shop. I've got a place inside I was thinking about and a place outside I'm thinking about. My biggest issue is I don't want to run into problems with the local county here with outside signage or things that they don't really want you hanging up on the outside of your buildings. I know there's regulations in place as to you know what they'll accept and what they won't. You know, I'm trying not to ruffle any feathers. But I would like to hang it on the outside of the building. I've got a great spot out there that I think it would look neat on. I've got power right at that spot and a switch inside here. So with the switch, I'll be able to you know, turn it on and off whenever I'd like. Pretty neat jumper in it. You can see it jumps from three different positions there. Haven't seen such a thing before. It's the first time I've ever had one of these open. Again, I've seen the videos, but you know, I've never actually worked on one. With the lights themselves, they didn't fit perfectly in here. So I've, I've put a little silicone adhesive around them, hoping that'll keep them in place. It's not quite dry yet, but it's getting there. just the wiring for the lights themselves. With that we'll get this control module opened here. Need to sharpen my knife. Had it for a long time, it's getting pretty dull.
I think I'm going to use the mount points that are inside the housing here to mount this properly. So we'll go ahead and we'll check the instructions out and see if I can figure this thing out. It's a pretty neat unit. I bought it off of Amazon um, and it's got your AC, your red light, your yellow light, and your green light. So it looks like on the instructions, you know, my my line and my neutral connecting obviously, and then I looks like I'm just hooking up, you know, the white lines and the and the blue lines or the white and the whatever color to the unit here, and everything should work. got it figured out here. I did buy myself a nice long extension cord here that I'm going to cut the end off of. Feed that wire up through the bottom. And for the time being, I don't have a way to mount this. The, the top mount, unfortunately, is a little stuck. It's rusted together, and I will have to get that apart. But I wanted to make this thing work before I went too far with the project here. Pull that sheathing back and we'll split the wiring. And we'll go ahead and we'll strip the ends. Hopefully my tiny screwdriver is tiny enough. It's pretty small. Tighten these down so the wires stay in place. time being I'm going to keep the wires pretty long. This one's got a, a break in it so I'm going to cut it there at the break. 
we'll do the same thing. We'll strip these. I'm not sure if it makes a difference which one is the power and which one is the ground. So I'm going to hook the left wire in, the, left, the red wire in the left socket, and the white wire in the right socket on each one of these. So the first color we're hooking up is red. Pushing that ground wire in first, or I'm assuming is the ground wire. I'll push the what I assume to be the power wire in. Repeat the process on the yellow light. We'll hook them up exactly the same way. Next, we'll unwrap the green light here and then get that one hooked up. And this did have the terminals on to connect inside the housing as it should have originally, but I'm choosing to cut those ends off and then hook it directly to the board rather than try to feed a bunch of wires through and hope that I get them in the correct spots.
wires seem nice and tight in that housing. So at this point, see if we got an open socket right here. We'll see if we make light or if we make fire. the wiring is all kind of a mess right now I'm not doing this really the right way I'm kind of just stuffing wires in just to show you guys it's working as you can see it is flashing red green yellow red green yellow and there's a bunch of different lighting options. You can change the timing of the lights. You can do all the things to make it just like it should be as an actual street light. And I'll probably change those settings. Super excited this worked out as easily as it did. It seemed like it was going to be an easy process when I you know, saw the video online, but sometimes you never know what things have been edited out and how much of a struggle it actually was. But this was fairly straightforward. So the red light will have it on for four seconds. We'll put the yellow light on for two seconds. Put the green light on for four seconds. And that's the way it should run. And that, from what I've read and seen online, is how our lights actually function. That's how long they are as far as street lights go, I guess. Um, I feel like that's a little fast. So I think we'll try to change it a little longer. We'll do six, we'll do eight seconds on the red light. Do four on the yellow. We'll do 10 seconds on the green. We'll let it function here so it's on red. So that's gonna be on for a while. Went to yellow, went to green. I guess that's the wrong order. All right, green. Now we should go yellow, hopefully, right? Yellow, yep, okay, great. And then it should go to red, which it did. And I hope it goes back to green, but we're gonna see. It might go backwards right down to, and it does. It goes backwards to yellow. So that's not the setting that I want. So we need to figure out what the modes are to change them. We want mode two is the traffic standard traffic light sequence. So we'll go one, oops, go to mode two. There's where we want to be. So two, which is eight seconds for red, four seconds for yellow, ten seconds for green, and we'll initiate it and see what it does. So we're at red right now, and we're gonna start there, and then hopefully it goes to green at this point, which it should. Perfect. When green light's lit. We should be on for 10 seconds I've set. Next we should go to yellow. Yellow. Should go for a couple seconds, and then should go to red. Now we're on red, and then it should cycle back to green. So we'll give it a second here and see if it cycles back to green. Excellent. That worked really well. Awesome. So now at this point, what I need to do is I need to unplug it, of course, and then get this control unit 
secured into its spot. And then once that's secured into its space, then I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually tie these wires up. I don't think I want to cut them any shorter. I think I want to just leave them as long as they are and then I'll just zip tie them into place. It's probably not the right answer, but that's, that's the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with on this. I'm super excited that this worked out as well as it did. You know, I expected this to, to be a, a tougher project than it was, and I'm very grateful that it, it's working out. Um, obviously, I have some you know, things ahead of me yet. I do need to find mounts for this, and I need to find a way to get this mount to, to come undone. I'm gonna see if I can get a, a bigger wrench on here. I don't have the right size wrench, and I was trying to you know, turn on it with a pipe wrench, and unfortunately, I was not able to. If I can get this to unthread, then I can get the proper ends for this, then I can mount it either to a wall or either inside or outside. So that's the next step is to be able to get this mounted properly. Hopefully this, this glue will adhere well and it'll keep these lights in place. I think it will. Um, it's, it's fairly dry. It's still a little malleable. I know on the inside it's super, it's gooey a little bit yet. It's supposed to dry up in 30 minutes, but you know, I want to give it a good long time. It's currently about 60 degrees in the shop and you know, it's not overly warm. So I know it's going to take a little longer to cure. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the process and how this works. You know, obviously my next steps are gonna be getting this thing kind of cleaned up and tidied up and getting everything looking better. You know, I wanna clean the outside, you know, pull, I'm gonna pull the board again and wash this thing so it actually looks nice. And then I'll, I'll find a spot to get it, you know, either hung inside the building or outside. But I wanted to show you guys that process. I appreciate you following along. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You know, it's showing that you know 92% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if we can get those numbers up, I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, I thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you next time.